Punk music is really hot in today's collector marketplace. Punk and new wave records are rising to new heights all the time. What about punk magazines? Punk zines? These are an aspect of music memorabilia that may be overlooked. Hello, I'm Stephen Brayman of musicappraisals.com. San Francisco, Los Angeles, London, Boston, they all had vibrant punk music scenes during the key era of 1975 to 1985, and they produced many, many publications that supported their local music scene, often called zines. These publications often had very small print runs and were cheaply printed. Many of these zines are very hard to find today in excellent condition. Collectors are willing to pay very high prices for the rarest and most interesting looking copies. For example, Damage Magazine from San Francisco, No Magazine from Los Angeles, and Sniff and Glue from London. These are examples of really rare publications that bring expensive prices now in the collector market. So remember, if you collect these kinds of publications, condition trumps almost everything. A worn, beat up old punk zine is going to attract a lot less interest than one that's in excellent condition. I keep mine stored flat in archival boxes within mylar sleeves. But let's face it, that used old punk zine, that may be what punk's really all about after all. So maybe we should just enjoy them for what they are.